can I lose and I can't hear with nothing? Stack Squad, what is poppin', man? It's your boy Vincent, back with another video, man. Today is Vince with vlogs as usual, you know what I'm saying? How's everyone doing, man? I'm doing well, you know what I'm saying? The weekend's coming up, so I am excited. You know what I'm saying? See what I can get into this week, man. Still being safe, you know what I'm saying? But I hope everyone's doing good, man. Hope everyone's having a blessed day today, man. You know what I'm saying? As always. And um, if you're an OG Stack Squad fan member, salute to you, man. Thanks for coming back as always. Showing love and support, watching our videos, stuff like that, man. And um, today, I got a special video for y'all, man. And also, if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You like, share, and comment, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from us at all. Because like I said, we, we get back on the grind, so we're going to post a whole lot more. But let's get in, into the video, man. And um, today, I got a little something special for y'all, man. I've been telling y'all, I'm going to show y'all my shoes, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today, man. So let's go ahead and get into the video. First shoe, man. First shoe. Got to kick it off right, man. First shoe I got right here, man. Boom. Got the... Jordan 3 Wolf Grays, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got these right before high school started, man. And I wore these a lot, man. Also, if y'all see that these are beat, man. Um, whoever owned these before me did not take care of these, obviously. You can tell from, you know what I'm saying, like this. Like the, um, the midsole and all this stuff, the back of it. Like, they messed them up. But me, I take good care of my shoes. I clean my shoes. You know what I'm saying? And I, cause I love my shoes to death, man. Like, I'm a big sneakerhead. But, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you got your wolf gray, you got your black, your white. You got your um, wolf gray jump man right there on the on the suede tongue, stuff like that, man. Still got the insoles in them. You know what I'm saying? That black insole jump man is rubbed out. Because, you know, whoever had these didn't take care of them. That's the bottom of them. But, yeah, guys, um... This is my favorite shoe in my collection so far because, you know what I'm saying, it's like my first retro Jordan that I've ever had in my life, I believe so. I don't remember um, having any when I was younger or when I was, a, you know, like a little taller or whatever you want to call it. I had Jordans, but not no retros. But, um, you know what I'm saying, I love these a lot, man. You know, you got your wolf gray, your black, your white. And, um, you know, it's a clean shoe, you know what I'm saying. I wore these in high school, got a bunch of compliments on them. You know what I'm saying? And um, my friend, I'm trying to get these to him at some point because I know he wants these, man. So these will be gone. But I'm glad that y'all got the opportunity to see them on this video before they do get gone, whenever they do. But um, you know what I'm saying? I love these shoes so much, man. It's just I iconic shoes, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jordans are my favorite shoes, but it's really just like right now in my place. I can't really get them like that because, you know, they, they go for a lot of money. Like, I can get a good bit of shoes, but it's just like, with Jordans, these are really expensive. So, it's like, if you ain't got the money to get them, then you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, well, you got to luck. But, um, this is the first shoe to start off the collection, man. Jordan 3 with Grays, man. Favorite shoe of all time. I like these. I ain't never going to forget these, man, because, you know, it's an iconic shoe. So, I'm, when I see this shoe at all, I'm going to remember that. I've owned these before, you know what I'm saying? I've owned the Jordan 3 Wolf Grays, man. And these are real, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to call me out and say if they're fake. I've already done my research, man. These threes are real, man. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing, too. I don't do no fake stuff out here. But these threes are real. And, um, you know what I'm saying? So, first shoe, Jordan 3 Wolf Grays, man. Favorite shoe of all time in my collection. And that's it for the first one. Second shoe, man, let's get into it. <laughs> These are the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever owned in my life. But these are the Puma Clydes, man. Second shoe is the Puma Clyde. White navy, got your gold. And um, you know what I'm saying? I say that because the insole is like so uncomfortable. I don't know why. But you know what I'm saying? Um, these are like the most uncomfortable Pumas I've ever had. I have another pair of Pumas as well. But um, you know what I'm saying? That's the insole. You got your blue, you got your gold. And then that's the bottom of them. I've worn these a good bit of times, but like I said, they're uncomfortable. Also, these shoes have the gold lace tips on them. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it got gold lace tips on them right there. But yeah, um, I've worn these a good bit, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I felt like throwing on some white, I threw these on. And um, like I said, uh, 
it's really just an uncomfortable shoe in my opinion. Also, you got your gold Puma Clyde right there. But um, these are uncomfortable <laughs> for real, but I still wore them, you know what I'm saying? It sucks, but I still wore these, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't complaining, man. Family member bought these for me, so I had to rock them, you know what I'm saying? I still own these. But this is the second shoe, man, Puma Clyde in um, navy and white and gold, man. So that's going to be it for the second shoe. Most uncomfortable, and that's it. Let's get into the third shoe, man. Third shoe is another one of my favorites, man. This was an impulse buy as well, but let's get into it. Bow. These are the Air Max 1 windbreakers, man. You can tell that black, that green, that, cl that crimson, that yellow, the white. All that good stuff, man. Nike on the back. Um... So a story about these, like I said, these are an impulse buy. So I went to a store, seen these off the jump. I just bought them just cuz, man. But I actually drawn to like them. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't call it impulse buy anymore. But when I first seen it, I called it an impulse buy. You know what I'm saying? And um, these are pretty cool. My favorite part about them is that, you know what I'm saying, the laces. And then on the inside, it has like a little, uh, it has like a little uh, note in there. On the inside of the tongue, the crimson tongue. And you know what I'm saying? That's the inside right there. Got Nike Air right there. That's the bottom of them. I worn these shoes, you know what I'm saying? They're a little bit dirty because I haven't cleaned them. Um, and the reason why is because I don't have any cleaning supplies yet or I can't find them. So that's why I haven't cleaned my shoes yet. I was going to try to clean these before I did the video, but I said, screw it. I got to sh show them the shoes anyway. So I take care of my shoes and I clean my shoes, but I ain't got the tools right now to clean them. So we just going to thug it out and show how it is right now. But these shoes, man, are my favorite. I love these, man. I love the colorway. You know what I'm saying? These are comfortable. You can wear these with sweatpants, shorts, all that good stuff, man. And I just like how they look. So it's, this shoe really isn't me. It's just I got these to try something new out. And, um, you know, Nike is catching my attention a little bit more. So, you know what I'm saying? It's the third shoe, Nike Air Max 1. Windbreaker. All right. Fourth shoe, man. Um... I got these on my birthday, man. These right here are the Champion Rally Pro Shoes, a.k.a., you know what I'm saying, the knockoff Balenciagas, y'all already know them, um, them sock runners, whatever you want to call them. But I got these on my birthday this year, man, you know what I'm saying, um, just black and white, you know what I'm saying. Got the strap, you know what I'm saying, pull tabs to help you put the shoe in easier. Um, inside, I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the inside of them. That's the bottom right there, man, and, um, I worn these a lot. I have, well, actually, I haven't worn these a lot, but I have started wearing these a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They're comfortable. I love these shoes, man. This could be a shoe that I could throw on with sweatpants all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, it's just I love these shoes so much. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just what I do with these shoes, man. These are a nice cop. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate these shoes so much. I'm going to start wearing these a little bit more now. But this is the fourth shoe, Champion Rally Pro Shoes. Let's get into the next video. I mean, <laughs> next shoe, man. I'm sorry. Next shoe. But that's the fourth shoe right there, man. We on number five. Number five, man. We got the Puma Suede's, man, and black and gum, man. This is black, you know what I'm saying? Got your gum bottom. Got your silver right there on the back and the front. But, um... Pumas, man, I love Puma for some reason. I, it's really just, I guess, these shoes that draw my attention to them a little bit. I got a black hoodie that go with them, too. But um, Pumas, man, what actually inspired me to get these Pumas was the YouTuber called Eddie Wynn. I don't know if I guys know him, but you know what I'm saying? He's, a, he's a, like a style YouTuber. He does a whole bunch of lookbooks, shows off clothes, shoes, all that good stuff, man. Does vlogs and everything. But I seen him do Puma Sways, and he rocks with these a little bit. And um, I was like, all right, word. So I actually got these because of him. He inspired me to get these shoes, man. But I actually like these shoes, man. These are another one of my favorites, you know what I'm saying? It's simple black and gum bottom. Um, you know, it's a comfortable shoe. I can wear these anywhere, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no problem. But um, I love these shoes as well, man. It's just a nice suede shoe, you know what I mean? And um, got silver right there, silver right there. So... I like these shoes a lot, man. I wore these in high school. I, I wore these in high school a lot as well. You know what I'm saying? Everyone was liking these as well. You know what I'm saying? They, they rock with these. And, you know, that's just a simple fact. I wore these a lot in high school. Like, most of these shoes, I wore in my high school a good bit. You know what I'm saying? 
except for the championship rally pro shooters, because I'm, I'm I graduated now. Like I'm I'm done with school, so you know. That's it with that, man. Shoot five, Puma suede, black and gum bottle, man. You already know. All right, man. Next shoe is another favorite of mine, man. These are the Nike Air Max Plus, I believe so is what they're called. I don't know. If y'all know the name or remember the name, let me know in the comments. But I got these because I was seeing these, man. I seen these. Um, my friend had a, a pair similar to these, but it was like, I don't know if I wanted them. So, you know what I'm saying? I got these, I think for like 175 or something like that. It was a decent price, 160 or something. But I got these, man. Um, that's the insole right there. Nike Air. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's the bottom. But I got these, man, and I won my high school a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? My friend had something similar to these. Like the bottom, I think, like the 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 um, shoe shape was the same, but it was like this was like more smoother and on his pair. And then it had like this. This logo was like big on like the side and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't remember what they're called, but he had something similar to these, and I was like, "Warrior, bro, I gotta get these." But um, I got these, man. I love these shoes. It's an all white Nike. You know what I'm saying? I could throw these on with whatever, whenever I feel like I want to just dress up or whatever. But um, in person, these are a little bit like beat because I wore them a lot. I gotta clean these too, especially your white shoes, man. Take care of your white shoes when you have some. You know what I'm saying? Especially like them um them Air Forces. Take care of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take care of them, you gotta go buy a new pair. But this is um, you know what I'm saying? The um this is the six shoe right here, man. Nike Air Max Plus, you know what I'm saying? All white. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? I rock with it. But this is the six shoe right here, man. Alright, seventh shoe right here. This is an all-around shoe, really, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what these are called, but these are, you know what I'm saying, some um, workout shoes, you know, something that, that you can work out in, you know what I mean? And um, it's black, it got the crimson, got the green. I wore these in um, track practice and that. Fun fact, I did track. Uh, I, I wasn't the best on there, you know what I'm saying, but I still pushing the hat fun because it was a team effort type of deal. That's what I wanted to do, but... um. I got these I got these in general, you know what I'm saying? I will use these for track as well. But um I work in these as well too. But these are comfortable shoes, so I can do some work in these, man, and I won't have to rub my feet hurting or nothing like that, you know what I mean? But these are comfortable and you know what I'm saying, I love these shoes. These are comfortable to work in, they're great shoes, you know what I'm saying? They they look nice for the most part, I guess you could say. But this is, you know what I'm saying, the seventh shoe. I don't know what you call these. <laughs> I don't know. What you, that's the bottom. I don't know what you call these, but these are some comfortable working shoes slash uh, workout shoes. All right, man. And the last shoe, the um the A shoe, man, is um this is a classic too. You know what I'm saying? The Vans old school in the black and white checkerboard colorway. Um, I got these a while ago, man. Right before high school started as well. I think I don't know. I got these and um, I wore these a whole lot. You can tell they're beat, really beat, man. I actually worked in these recently, but um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, these shoes are comfortable. I like these. I like bands. You know what I'm saying. I still do, but it's like I haven't really gotten a pair in a minute. You know what I'm saying. I might get a pair in a minute if I see some that I like. But um, recently I actually had a whole I had a whole bunch of bands, but I sold the rest of them. And I was trying to sell these, but I ended up selling the good pairs, which, you know what I'm saying, was wrong, was stupid of me. But, you know, these are still stay with my collection, I guess, you know. Like, this is something I could go back and reminisce on and be like, hey, these are the first pairs of Vans that I, I bought, you know what I'm saying, and I rock. Um, the reason why the checkerboard is like this is because I stepped in a big old puddle when I had went somewhere, and it messed up the whole shoe. <laughs> it messed up the whole freaking shoe, dog. That's the bottom of them, that gum bottom. But um, I messed these up, man. But you know, vans look good, be or new, however you want to take it, man. But yeah, man. Um, it's the last shoe in my collection, and now I'm gonna tell you about all the other vans that I had. Um, I had another pair of old schools, the Yacht Clubs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know them, the color block like blue, yellow, green, red, white. You know what I'm saying? Them shoes. Um. I actually really like those shoes, man, because. It stood out to me, man. Had a whole bunch of colors on them and stuff like that, so you could pop out and be a little bit more different. 
You know what I'm saying? But um, actually, if anything, I shouldn't have kept those out of all the vans that I sold because those were really the hardest ones in my collection. But who knows, man? Maybe I can get them in the future again later when I come across them. But um, yeah, guys, so that's another pair of vans I had. Another pair I had was the um, authentic vans in the black and checkerboard colorway, the regular black and white, you know what I'm saying? Black and pure white, you want to call it. I wore those in high school a lot too, man. Like in high school, I just wore Vans because it was um, a style that I grew on to. Like Vans were, they were cheap, you know what I'm saying? Like 60, 66, five dollars, you know what I'm saying? They're cheap, they got a whole bunch of colors in them. They're comfortable and you know, that's what I was around because in high school, I seen a whole bunch of Jordans, but it was like, you know what I'm saying? I really couldn't get them at the time. I still kind of really can't get them at the time. I mean, I can, but it's really just, it, wouldn't, it really wouldn't be like smart to do that right now. But, um, you know, I really just wore Vans the entire time. Also, let me see. I had three pairs of skate highs. I had um, a BMX pair of blue and yellow checkerboard Vans. And then I had, um, let me see, I had a pair of navy ones, you know what I'm saying? And then I had the gray and white skate highs. So, you know, in total, I probably had like seven or eight Vans. And I also had a pair of yellow slip-ons, you know what I'm saying? I had those as well. So I threw those on when I was comfortable and I didn't feel like tying my shoes that day. I was lazy. But um, in high school, man, I was wearing Vans, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that bad of a move, man, because, you know, um, Vans is a, a popular shoe, you know what I'm saying? Comes from, like, California and stuff like that. Well, that's where you get the vibes from when you think of Vans is California. But, um, you know what I'm saying? For the most part... That's what I wore, but I did see a whole bunch of Jordans in high school, man. I seen the Wolf Ray 12s, I seen um, Cherry 13s, you know what I'm saying? I seen the Bread 13s, I seen 4s, the Toro 4s, I seen the French Blue 12s, Wolf Ray 12s, um, Thunder 14s, Black Cat 14s, Carmine 6s. I seen a whole, like, people at school, when I was a freshman in high school, bro, everyone had all the J's, man. And that's what everyone was trying to do. People were trading trading J's, selling J's, and a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen the Black Cap 6s as well, man. Like, I seen so many shoes in high school, man, that I really wanted, but I couldn't get my hands on them at the time. But, you know, that just goes to show, man, like, whatever shoes you have in your collection, man, make it work. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone got a different story when it comes to shoes, like. Everyone can't afford, you know what I'm saying, J's or they can't afford the real nice shoes that everyone got. But you got to work with what you got, man. But um, that's going to be for a later video. I'm going to make another video on how to um, save money for sneakers and stuff like that. And uh, sorry about that little voice crack that just happened. <laughs> but um, I'm going to talk to you about how to get sneakers that y'all want and, you know, you know, how to take care of them and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just what it's about, man, but yeah, man, I mean, I like shoes for the most part. I'm still a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying, but um, my style changed up a whole lot, man. Y'all guys will see that in the next collection, man. I'm going to do a part two to that, so y'all look out for that, man, but thank y'all guys for watching the video, man. I hope y'all enjoy, man, and um, you know, like I said, if you're new, subscribe, make sure you hit that um notification bell so you don't miss any videos you know what i'm saying like share and comment with your friends your family all that good stuff man let them know that stack squad is on the way you know what i'm saying love y'all guys so much man appreciate y'all watching y'all have a blessed night man and i'll see y'all in the next video stack squad is out man peace